Hey guys, Anime Gypsy here with another Boruto discussion video. And I know you got what some of you guys may be thinking. What is this video about? Uh, this video is going to be about uh, the people that are Kage level and are still alive. And the reason I'm going to discuss these folk is because they are the people with the most power. They are the powerhouses. And they their existence itself has a significance because they are the people that could create the most effect. And discussing them will help us understand where the story is going later on. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to discuss different categories and each Kage level character within those categories. And doing that will help us understand where the power, ba where the power ba balances lie, how the powerhouse, uh, powerhouses interact, because I'll discuss their significance, and so on and so forth. Now, let's start with the Hidden Cloud. The Hidden Cloud... Now, the first thing you guys think of, obviously, when, you, when we discuss the Hidden Cloud, is Raikage A. And for good reason, the guy is still alive, and the most significant aspect of Raikage A is his lightning, is his lightning augmentation of his limbs that allows him to, you know, travel at lightning speed. Now, this is significant because we could have some sort of arc with him later on where he needs to commun where the hidden cloud needs to communicate a message to the hidden leaf or the hidden sand or the hidden mist so on and he's the person that takes that route because he's obviously the fastest but i'm not counting on that and in terms of his significance right now the way i see it is uh, we had this relationship with him and darui uh way back in shippuden and what we saw was that raikage a was teaching darui the ropes of b and raikage and basically just the obvious actions of governance how to hold yourself up as a leader how to intimidate how to be a raikage and you no know, that may be part of his current role is that he is the person behind the scenes that tells darwi hey darwi please don't do this you're gonna cause a big mess do that instead hey darwi don't cut him that much slack. Be harder on him in the interview. Hey, Darwi, when you're doing negotiations, don't give up that much. Just push back, you know. Don't debate. Don't go in this direction during a debate. Go in that direction. Like, he may be that type of person as well. So this is the significance that A currently has. Uh, and he is someone who I'd say is mid-tier Kage level. Mid-tier to high Kage level in that section. That is... Uh, Raikage A's current ranking. Now the person after that is Killer B. And Killer B on the Kage scale, I would say, is about low tier, mid tier Kage. He is around that scale, right beneath Raikage A. And the reason I think that Killer B is Kage level is because we have seen what he has done against the uh the QB, the Ten Tails, we have seen what he has done against the former Jinchuriki, and that performance was easily low-tier Kage level. Uh, honestly, if Chojiro is considered a Kage, I would most definitely consider Killer B a Kage. And I know what you guys are thinking, but wait, 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 I thought we were talking about Kages that are still alive. People with Kage, le people with Kage level that are still alive. Yes, I am. In the anime, B hasn't died yet. And for any anime watcher, I am sorry, I just spoiled that. You have every right to X out of the video, but I promise this is the last spoiler. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is most definitely the last spoiler. Now, after Killer B is obviously Darui. And, actually, no, no I didn't talk about the Killer B's significance. Killer B's significance is that he is Naruto's friend, and maybe... What we're going to have happen later on in the anime is that Killer B and Daru and uh, Naruto are going to team up in a way during some sort of battle or that Killer B will visit Naruto, you know, that, that sort of thing. And he has a connection with the Tail Beasts, which I'm going to discuss more in one of the later categories. And now after Killer B, we have Darui. And the importance of Darui is that Darui is the governing force. Darui is the person that calls the shot. Darui is the guy with the military. Darui is the guy in orange. Darui is the Trump of the Hidden Cloud. Darui is the Trump card. Well, 
I already said from Darwi is the guy behind the means of the hidden cloud, the country, the country that has been collecting jutsu from other countries for a very, very long time. So they have an arsenal of jutsu that has been stole that has stuff from the hidden leaf, stuff from the hidden stone, stuff from the hidden mist, because you know, during a certain period of time, they were known for stealing stuff, like their attempt at stealing the Byakugan from the hidden from the hidden leaf. So this is something that Darwi has access to. Now, he, things that we need to know about his power is that he has li lightning augmentation, not of limbs, you could just shoot lightning, just regular lightning style, regular, regular water style. He has black lightning, he has gale style. Now, this is significant because uh, a combination like that of water style and lightning style would be effective against foes that are much stronger than him that have um, fire style like Sasuke but you know Sasuke right now is an entirely different league and we're going to talk about him later so this is something to watch out for uh, foes with with uh, water style are in an, at an inherent disadvantage against Darwi even if they are tiers above him because he could use water augmentate he could use water style and then augment the water with lightning thus causing a very severe attack especially if he uses black lightning which you know, just just forget it. You're dead. Now, after that, we move on to the next category, the Hidden Stone. And when we talk about the Hidden Stone, we need to ask an important question. Is Onoki alive? The answer to this question is probably not. This guy was ancient during Shippuden. This guy looked like he was, you know, at the same age as the third Hokage. And that's saying something, guys. I, I mean... I think he went the same route as, you know, the ramen guy. Because in the Boruto anime, we saw ramen guy wasn't there anymore, and we, we, we just assumed that, yeah, he's probably dead. He's probably dead. And seeing how old Naruto is now, it only makes sense that, you know, Onoki is dead. And moving on after Onoki is Kutsuchi. Kutsuchi, not to be confused with Kurotsuchi. Kutsuchi is Kage level because of his insane earth style, especially the fact that he was able to commence an attack, even if it was a reserve attack. Any attack that in some way resists the Gedo statue is considered a Kage level attack. And considering that this guy has the intellect for it, this guy is a strategist, this guy does this, this guy does that, this guy stood up against Kinkaku, this guy has shown so many feats that are Kage level, yet he's not given that much attention, and he's still alive. So yes, this is a character that is Kage level and is still alive. Kutsuchi. Look out for Kutsuchi. This is a major player. We might see him if the, if the Hidden Leaf visits the Hidden Stone Village, which I am 100, if the, if Boruto's class vis visits the, the Hidden Stone Village, and I'm 100% sure that there is going to be an arc in which Boruto himself, at the very least by himself, or with some of his friends, are going to be in the Hidden Stone Village. It only makes sense, because I think what we're going to get is more world building and the way we're going to get that is through Boruto seeing different parts of the Naruto world. And one of them is the Hidden Stone. And when we do that, we might see Kutsuchi, and Kutsuchi would be a major player. Now, after Kutsuchi is Kurotsuchi, the current Tsuchikage. And I we don't know that much about her power. She could use lava, well, she could use a form of lava style. She could use earth style. And I'm not, she has like a, ge, a Keke Genkai. Uh, well, the love style is okay, again, okay, we don't know that much about her. Now, moving on to the next category, we have Mei in the Hidden Mist. And we have seen Mei right now. And Mei is basically Chojiro's assistant slash still mentor. She's the person that, you know, is there to assist Chojiro, tell Chojiro, hey, don't do that, Chojiro. I did the same mistake, Chojiro. Chojiro, stop being a kid. Chojiro, this, Chojiro, that. And speaking of Chojiro, Chojiro. Chojiro is the next on our list, and honestly, he's been a disappointment. I, I know he's been holding back on the kids in that previous episode, but come on, Chojiro. You're supposed to be better, Chojiro. You're supposed to be better. We looked up to you, Chojiro. We, we wanted to see a, a beastly Chojiro, but Chojiro decided not to show us the Chojiro, Chojiro. Come on, Chojiro. 
<sighs> so enough talking about Chojiro. And I just want to say that I want to see a lot of swordsmanship that is exceptionally Kage level because we haven't seen Kage level swordsmanship that much in Naruto period. The only swordsmanship that I would say is even close to Kage level that we have seen is Kisame Hoshigaki's swordsmanship. Other than that, we haven't seen, and Mifune's, other than that, we haven't seen that much Kage level swordsmanship. And I wish I could, we would see more Kage level swordsmanship. We have seen uh, techniques from Chojiro that are basically uh, on par with the kids because he didn't want to go that hard. I mean, come on, Chojiro. Come on, Chojiro. Now, next up is the Hidden Leaf. And I, oh, actually, no, the, next up is the Hidden Sand. And in the Hidden Sand, there's only one Kage level character, Gara. And I'm not going to talk that much about Gara because I could fill an entire video about Gara, and that's not what I'm trying to do. So next up is the Hidden Leaf. In the Hidden Leaf, two characters stand up, Naruto and Sasuke. Now, those two are high, 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 high tier Kage level. And by high, 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 high tier Kage level, I mean those guys are Kages. And they smoked so much, they are so high, they are higher than any Kage ever would be, with the or ever was, with the exception of Hashirama, maybe. And that's a big maybe. And I, I honestly, personally, I think that Hashirama is just the strongest Naruto is right now, because he's staying it. But that's, that's very debatable, I won't get into it because it'll take an entire video. Now, next up after both of them is Kabuto Yakushi. Jesus Christ, Kabuto Yakushi. The mass murderer turned into a uh, a orphanage leader. I mean, geez, he goes from mass murderer to leading and owning an, an orphanage like this so quick. And it's just, <laughs> what would make you think that a guy grew up that I mean, a guy who dedicated part of his life to experimenting on people and kids, well, including kids, is fit to lead an orphanage? Tell me, Konaha. I, I mean, uh, okay, okay. Itachi's Genjutsu. I'll give him a pass. In terms of Kabuto and his significance, he is one of the, you know, one of the most knowledgeable um, researchers and scientists in Konoha currently. So this is something to also watch out for. He is someone that is very well versed, in, especially in Senju DNA and uh, in Uchiha DNA, as well as uh, the Zetsu, as well as the Curse Mark, he is, and Medical Ninjutsu, obviously. So, if anything happens with the Hashirama cells after this, Kabuto will probably get the call. Like, hey dude, remember that stuff you were messing with back in the war? We kind of need your help with it now. Like, that, that sort of call is going to happen sooner rather than later. <laughs> I guarantee that is a bona fide guarantee. And, and I wish to see more uh, material that he has researched other than that. Because he obviously has, like, the immortality jutsu. We want more flushing on more research that Orochimaru and himself have done. And I hope that's something we're going to get more of later. Now, after that, after Kabuto is Kakashi. And Kakashi, I mean, he's just by himself and we don't know what he's going to do and his powers we know very well. So after Kakashi is Tsunade. And with Tsunade, we don't know that much about her independent works. We don't know what she is doing. We know she has just basically retired. She doesn't think much is going to go on. But as, as we know, stuff is going to go on real fast, real quick. And with Tsunade in general... I mean, I, I see her coming back when stuff really, really, really gets bad. And she is also considered one of the people that could heal the most people at by herself. She has shown that she could, she could heal an entire village, an entire battle regiment by herself. Something that even Sakura couldn't do. And that is the reason why Sakura is not on this list, is because she does not have the chakra control to heal an entire army regiment by herself like Tsunade has in the Fourth Great Ninja War and in Konoha's, Konoha being attacked by pain. In fact, when Konoha was being attacked by pain, Sakura just stood by and did nothing. 
and not a damn thing. And uh, uh, so that's why Sakura is not on the list. Now, after Konoha is the samurai. And with the samurai, there is only one name, Mifune. And the reason Mifune is on this list is because he defeated Hanzo of the Salamanders. And the only reason Mafune is going to get dragged into any conflict coming up later on is if the conflict is very serious and it also affects the hidden uh, the land of iron. Which I'm sure a transplanetary war would be, which is what I'm guessing the end of Borto is going to be. It's going to be a transplanetary war where the planet where the Otsutsuki are is going to go to war against the Earth and you're going to have a huge, huge war as the end of Bort. Now, after the samurai, there's one last category, which is the most important, and it's the independent category. And in this category, the first Kage-level characters are the tailed beasts that are roaming right now. I won't name every single one of them, but I think they're going to be important later on. If you guys remember, at the end of Naruto, what ended up happening was most of the tailed beasts went on their way to wherever, and we have not seen of we have not seen them yet. But I think they will be important later on. I think later on, what will end up happening is Boruto and company are going to stumble upon Shukaku, or yeah, Shukaku, and Shukaku is going to be like, "Hey, I really hate your dad. He beat me up that one time when he was a kid." Back when he was your age, he was able to take me on. But you're just a weakling that can't, eat, you know, that type, type, that type, that type of stuff, maybe. And maybe, you know, they're actually no, they're obviously going to play war in the transplanetary war that's going to happen against the from the Utsuki and the Earth. Now, after the roaming tailed beasts, we have Kahyu, who I have mentioned, the leader of Huzuki Castle currently, Kakashi Hatake's girlfriend Kahyu. now i have said time and time again that she is kaki level she has held her own against a and a anyone who holds himself against a is a kage because that's how it works a yeah yeah and her significance is she bounds people she is the person that makes sure that very bad people with, that did very bad things stay in very bad places for the rest of their very bad lives that is Kahyu, and that is what Kahyu does. She puts very bad people in very bad places for the rest of their very bad lives. That, that's her significance. And the way she's going to be dragged, and I think, I am sure that there's going to be an arc where Boruto, I've said this before, I am calling it out. There is going to be a Hozuki Castle arc in Boruto. Calling it out, first person to call this out. There is going to be a Hozuki Castle arc in Boruto, and that's when we're gonna meet Kahyu, and we're gonna see Kahyu for the first time. This is the first time we're gonna get an illustration of the character Kahyu. We have only seen her in novels, now we're gonna see her animated, and I wish, I wish, I wanna see a Kahyu fight. I really, 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 really wanna see a Kahyu fight, guys. <sighs> so yeah, that's Kahyu. And after Kahyu, we have Orochimaru. And Orochimaru, well, we know, we know Orochimaru. He, he basically wants to stay in his hub. His little, uh, little, I don't even know what to call it. It's like research society meets ninja alliance meets old club. I mean, it's weird. It's the group with Suigetsu, Jugo, Orochimaru, and uh, Log, and Karin. That group. What the heck is going on with those guys? Those guys, those guys' actions are basically find out more stuff, dedicate your lives to research, and help the villages in any way you can. And it's weird. It really is weird. I mean, jeez. This guy tried to destroy the balance and was dedicated to creating chaos for most of his life. He is basically immortal at this point, and... This guy, the reason he's Kage level, guys, the reason he is Kage level is because he took down Gara's father by himself. And Gara's father was Kage level himself. And his fight against Hirozin, his fight against Tsunade, full strength, Jiraiya, 
half strength, and Tsunade by that point was considered Kage level by herself. So yeah, Orochimaru is Kage level, most definitely. <sighs> now Torune is the last person I'm going to talk about. And the reason Torune is important is because he is the, one of the last direct descendants of the Utsutsuki that are alive today, uh, that are alive today, and are associated with the Earth. So maybe in the last transplanetary war, you have him as a peacemaking tool. Basically, hey, I am Utsutsuki and Earthling, we come in peace. That type of deal. And he's also very powerful because you know he fought Naruto one on one, and that was after the after the Naruto series ended. So you have that going on. Yeah. So guys, tell me what you guys think about this video, whether it was important or not. Oh, and he, he, yeah. So tell me if you guys think this video is important down in the comments below. I know it's a long video. I am sorry, and I hope you guys have a nice. Day. Anime Gypsy out.